So it's 9.43 and Willow is up or sleeping in her swing. Kind of. Me talking is now waking her up. <laughs> this is when why it's a good idea to keep some background noise on. You know, so that she doesn't wake up just when I start talking. But she's going back to sleep. Um, but I'm making a some blackened salmon for dinner tonight. I posted the recipe on the blog. But I figured what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and make the cayenne pepper mixture. So it's like the, you know, what you're going to rub on the salmon. So I'm going to go into my pantry, get all the spices that I need, and get this ready. So that way, I don't have to do it later. So that's what the cayenne pepper mixture looks like afterward. So... Again, just a bunch of different spices all in the recipe. And um, what I have in here, so it's not actually a lot, but um, is enough to do four fillets, probably a little more. Well, no, probably a good seasoning of four fillets. But I'm only doing two for dinner, so I'm going to use only half this mixture. And then I'm just going to um, store and label the rest of it in a baggie after I'm done and uh, use it again for... Um, they were even saying it's good on chicken, so yeah, yummy. So our furnace isn't working today, and uh, I don't have any makeup on, but I'll show you guys. Look at my awesome sweater. <laughs> Great, huh? Anyway, and I put Willow in a little sweater vest, too, and she's got little Eiffel Towers on her shirt. Right there, see? You have Eiffel Towers on your shirt. Is Daddy on his way home? Yeah, Daddy's on his way home because the furnace isn't really working and it's not blowing out hot air. I turned it so that it's just like on the air circulation, so it's kind of blowing stuff, but it's not blowing hot air. And when it does, it, it smells like burning plastic or dust. So I'm so excited. This is my very first red plum and smart source magazines that I've gotten in the mail um, in my flyers. So it comes in in the paper mixed in with the flyers and they're so good. Like they have coupons like this like buy one get one free and we actually use those um, Cascade Power Packs um, so buy one get one free is awesome. Um, the and then also, like, there's a 50 cents off. This is buy one, get one free at Pearl Vision. And Steve wants to get eyeglasses, and he was looking at Pearl Vision. So, like, he can get one, buy one, get a free pair of eyeglasses. That's insane. Anyway, there's all kinds, like Cottonelle. So I'm cutting all the coupons. Raffle bums. Daddy's home. Raffle bums. <laughs> and her little pair shirt. I like it. And her little hat. Oh, she looks so cute. Daddy's home, because like I said to you guys earlier, the furnace broke. Right? Get out of here. What's it doing? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, Steve's shy now that he's gone back to work. So, tonight for dinner I'm trying something I've never cooked before. Salmon. I'm about to um, remove the skin off these fillets. Got my butter and my paprika cayenne pepper mix and I've got some asparagus spears cooking in a bit of butter and garlic so those are gonna cook for actually I can turn the heat down on them now until my salmon's done now and uh, yeah then it'll be nice nutritious supper making black and salmon so this is your special spices yeah this is like cayenne pepper, oregano, basil, thyme, salt, pepper, both black and white pepper, onion powder, I don't know, the rest of it's on the blog. Spoken like a true writer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Drizzle, 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 more butter, drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. I just like saying drizzle. Really, if I'm being honest. Okay, that's only means to be like that for two to five minutes. Mmm, 
blackened salmon. My fillets look horrible because they came with the skin on and I don't have a fish knife, so I had to butcher them to get the skin off. But I did it! And there's the finished meal! You can go ahead and sit down, I can't see your legs. Salmon on a bed of rice and asparagus spears. Yummy! Hope it's good. This is the first time I've ever cooked salmon ever. Ever. She's totally passed up when I talk to her. She makes funny faces. Willow, what should we get? What kind of treat? How come only one of your eyes is opening? I see your eye open. I see it. Oh, look at that face. Chabalicious Chunkerdoo! Yeah! Guess how much you weighed today, Willow? 12 pounds, 7.5 ounces! <laughs> but I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh, it's like the Lion King. I love that you have your US save. Shirt on too, it looks like you're. USA! 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 You're such a bad dad. Everyone's gonna be commenting that you're such a bad dad. <laughs> so, and then. <laughs> Sorry, I have nothing. I'm gonna go outside and then I'm going to go to the grocery store for mommy, okay? Because um, she's. Um, she needs a treat. Uh, did I lose you? <laughs> You're chewing your tongue. Someone's getting hungry. Yep. Okay. So, I collect all the milk in here, right, from my breast. And then what I do is I take the milk and I pour it into this thing. It's pretend milk, obviously. So, I, um... What I do is I wait until this storage container has five ounces in it, all right? Then I take the um, this container and I pour it into a breast milk storage bag. Do, 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 do. Then I label it with the date, okay? And then I put it in my freezer and it looks like that. Now, the question you had about um, the milk not being as good. So, what happens is that the milk saver really only collects the four milk, which is the milk that comes out when you first, when the baby first starts to feed, and then it doesn't collect any of the hind milk, which is like the fattier, richer, more um, calorie-filled milk. So, what I was doing, uh, because I have a pump, is that I would put some of the milk in here from the Milky's Milk Saver and then I would attach this to my Medalla pump and I would pump in you know a little bit more maybe another ounce or two and then I would fill the rest so then it was a combination of hind milk and fore milk so again the fore milk's the like more like skim milk the hind milk is the fattier creamier milk that's what I would do now it, you don't have to invest in a really expensive pump um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative, I bought this. Um, now, obviously, it connects to a container, but I bought this. This is just a Lansano hand pump. I think it was like thirty or forty dollars, um, and it's a great hand pump. If you're just looking to do like a small amount, like an ounce or two, to add to that, you could very easily do it with this. So what I was then doing was I would put my Milky's Milk Saver milk in here. I would pump off the same breast I just fed Willow, okay, so not the one that's not fed off of, but the one that I did, the one, whatever one you leave off at, basically, pump an ounce or two off that, add it in here, and then just continue filling this one until it's um, at the five ounce mark. So hopefully that helps um, explain how to do that. If you have any other questions whatsoever, let me know. I hope that's explained it, and uh, yeah, thanks for the great question. Someone's getting their bomb bomb changed. Change, bud.
You got a smelly, smelly bum. Smelly, smelly bum.